for frig's sakes, nothing like waking up in the morning just to realize that you just got challenged by another bunch of YouTubers to a bowling contest. That's right people, a bowling contest. This just happened. YouTuber Tierney, I've uh, linked his channel before in the past, and um, well, apparently he was meaning to contact me and issue the challenge, but I guess he's been busy with things and stuff. But uh, my cousin, who's been in his videos a bunch of times, frig off bus, I'm trying to vlog here for son of a bitch sakes. Frig, I'm telling you, no respect out there. But um, my cousin just notified me that I need to find three other dicks, including myself, well, four people anyway, to uh, fucking head out to the bowling alley and bowl. I haven't bowled in four years. I don't even know where my bowling shoes are. Son of a bitch. But um, I'd be totally down for that. Only problem is, is I gotta find three other people to come out and bowl. That's gonna be hard. I'm not saying I don't have any friends or anything. I'm just saying it's gonna be a bitch to find people who are gonna be available to bowl on whatever day. <clears throat> oh, freak sakes, we decided to do this. And the fact that I need three people, like Rex works fucking crazy hours and Adrian's been busy every once in a while so it's hard to say and you know uh, cat piss recently had the baby i don't know if he's into bowling even my buddy jean maybe but he might be working because he works crazy hours too and uh yeah i just i, I don't know like freak sakes i got nobody to freaking call on to say hey let's go bowl and take down some youtubers and have some fun it'd be kind of interesting and things but i don't know we'll have to see what we get into and see if we can get anybody freak sakes all righty well it's almost time to skedaddle and get shit going so uh, oh dick I forgot something. There we go, that's a little better. But, um, yeah, it's almost time to freaking rock and roll and get the hell out of here. I got me a toonie. Toonie. No, that was a cat. There's a toonie. Yup, that's uh, so I can buy myself a big ass coffee on my way into work. This is what was making all the noise. She was meowing. <coughs> really? She looks so smug when she looks, makes that face, eh? When she looks up. Scampers! Scampers! Scampers, 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 scampers. Now she's cute. But, uh, yeah, keep getting this freaking phone call from one, some 1 800 number in the US of A. And when you pick up the fucking phone, the line goes dead every damn time. It's like, what the hell are they calling about? And why is he in his crate? Why did you go in there, Bubby? Oh, you're funny. I don't know. Maybe he did something bad and I haven't found it yet, like shit in the house or something. I just let him out, like, not even an hour ago. Freak sakes. So I better, uh, assemble a lunch for tonight. Try and stay away from the corner store. I have the means to make a lunch, so let's just give her. Oh my god, she's funny. So it's like spring now, right? So the birds are out here in the trees. She's sitting up here just howling at the birds, like really pissed off that there's this force field between her and them birds because she wants to kill them. Fucking cat's not even six months old. Well, I guess she's about six months old now. She really wanted to street fight those birds. I guess that hunter's instinct is just built into the little shit rats, eh? <laughs> there, that should do the job. An orange and apple and two sandwiches. Yeah, that'll hold me over. And she's back at it. Look at her. Look at little fucking hunter. She's so funny. Hey, scampers? Yeah. Oh, frig sick. Thought it was later than it actually is. One thing I know for sure is, with these pants, I can't can't put anything in my pocket because frig sakes are about to go around my knees. So here's my puffer, right? Check this out. That's when I last got it refilled. It was October 9th, 2013. It says I have no repeats, but I know I do on a piece of paper I have around here somewhere. But, uh, yeah, repeat zero. October 9th, last time I refilled it. There's still about a half a tank in this thing. I should refill it regardless. Because Dad said that uh, if you don't use them within a certain time limit, uh, the pharmacy will cancel it, thinking that you don't need it anymore. So I should get more of them because sometimes, you know, I need it. Especially with spring around the corner, it's about to start pollen and all that and then like this is my first spring off the cigarettes so I have no idea what the hell is gonna happen to me but uh, I guess we'll have to find out frig yeah oh hey I gotta go I went upstairs for a quick chooch quick little friggin eat art whatever you want to call them and uh, freak sakes lost track of time gotta quit doing that anyway let's get off to work and get this shit shift over with and uh, go from there see if we got any more news on the work front because uh, holy look at my backyard even better Look at that freaking mess. Oh, dick. Oh, there we go. Look at that mess. Swampland. Holy shit. Yeah, she's coming together, people. All the snow is melting. I'll be able to get out there soon and lay down a whole bucket load of seed. Obviously, after all the water settles. Because I have another lake formulating back there. Look at that. Freaking lake. A little pool for Oreo to play in. Yup, yeah, we don't want that though. Imagine this thing soaking wet from freaking pond water and rainwater and dirty ass snow water. He'd fucking smell like an arsehole. Yeah, she's melting pretty quick. 
Sweet. Alrighty, let's get rolling. I'm gonna go over to the Hortons, grab a uh, donut, fuck a coffee, and we're out of here. Let's do this. Oh, frig yeah. Just got ourselves a coffee. Got ourselves a coffee. I got the window open. The road noise is really loud. No fucks to give, bitch. Oh, hey. Maybe I have to close my window a little bit. There's a lot of big puddles on the other side of the road there. And last thing I need is a, a road shower. You know what I mean? A road shower. Those aren't too tasty. So I'm still stuck on this bowling nonsense. I don't know who, who to get. Like, I, I don't really have any options. Like, oh, freak sakes. But, um, you know, like, Rex works odd shifts. And I don't know if you would like to go bowling. Uh, I work I got every weekend off, so I can go whenever. You know? Might be able to talk Adrian and Christina into coming out, maybe. That, that could be a possibility. It's hard to say. Like... That and I haven't bowled since I bowled in league back in like 2000 freaking 10 or some shit like that. So I really don't know. Like, I guess it's one of those things where I'm gonna have to talk to people and see what they say. Oh man, got a tickle in my throat. Got a tickle in my throat and it really sucks. Got a Chevy HHR like right on my side. There's like enough space in between us to maybe squeeze through. I don't know why the freak he's hugging this lane so much, but he is. If you want to come into this lane, bud, just give her. Plenty of room. You don't have to like ride in my lane and yours. Oh, he moved over finally. Oh, and he's one of our dicks. He's got a not for sale sign. Well, don't worry, the Ontario Northland's safe. It's the Ontario part that's fucked. That's something else I wanted to talk about was the Ontario, the whole sale. Like I said, we don't have much to say on it because we haven't received any updates. And last update we received said it's going to take about three months. So at least we're going to get paychecks for the next three months. That much we know for sure, maybe. But um, basically what's happening is, uh, okay, I'm going to explain this to you. I might have already done it in the past. If I did, I do apologize. But uh, okay, so they're going to keep the ONTC and the refurb department. So they're going to keep the trains and the refurb which costs a lot of money because they're not getting any contracts and right now they're not really working they're just pushing brooms and shit where they're going to get rid of us and our company our division produces 90 million dollars in profits every year we're the only leg of the ontc that's actually producing any sort of, of profits the rest of them are begging for grants the train commission is nothing but a freaking subsidies operation every time somebody takes the train or the the bus the government subsidizes non-stop you know they're always begging for handouts and shit meanwhile here at, at Ontario, the the communication side of things nobody's begging for shit we're able to produce the money and then spend the profits that we make on upgrading the infrastructure adding new features putting high speed where it was never before i.e go gamma and all that like we put wireless up there because the copper wires were just too damn old to run DSL. That and they weren't ours and they wouldn't let us friggin' run DSL off of them because they're dicks. So we had to come up with another solution and we just said, friggin', we'll just fire some wireless up there. Three meg wireless is better than nothing. So we went ahead and friggin' railroaded that up there and, you know, Bell would never do something like that. I'm actually kind of concerned that when Bell does walk in, they're gonna like go to all the places that we have like DSL, like Tomogamy and Iroquois Falls and all that, and they're just gonna fucking strip it, you know? They're gonna remove all the, the cool shit that we put in because they won't want to maintain it because let's face it, that stuff there is a lost leader. We knew that was gonna happen. We knew that by putting DSL in certain locations, it wasn't gonna generate any profits, it was gonna cost money. But in the end, we make that money elsewhere. We're just trying to keep the customer happy. When the hell have you ever heard a Bell Tech say, we just want to keep the customer happy? I close this up, man. It's getting noisy out there. I know it's getting warm in here. Let's turn the vents on. But honestly, like, a lot of companies won't produce a service that'll produce a negative income. They won't bother. For them, if it doesn't either break it or make it, if it doesn't break even or make profit, fuck it, it's not worth it, no bother. You know, and then we do that. Now, I don't know, there's a lot of humbug going on right now. All the unions are banding together to create a proposal for the future of the ONTC, including us. So this might get thrown out. Like, who knows, who knows? Either way, life goes on, right? Life goes on. As long as I have a heartbeat and I wake up in the morning, life goes on. <sighs> Come on, Hyundai, rugged. Oh, yeah. 
it's just a lot of us at work are so not motivated to give her 110%. It's so bad. Like, some of the techs are just... They had a fuck to give, but they loaned it out on permanent loaning, and they, they no longer have a fuck to give. That's how a lot of them are right now, and it's like, in a way, I don't blame them, but we should still give her 110%. Why should the customers suffer because the government's a bunch of goofs, you know? So it's, not, it's not right. Let them suffer after Bell takes over. That's the way I see it. Well, apparently the uh, Truggy, yeah, I should talk about that. Put it up on Kijiji and the ad is already way the fuck down on the pages and I had a couple bites on it. People offered me ridiculous shit. Like one guy offered me two ferrets. What the fuck am I gonna do with ferrets? And I was like, uh, no thanks, bud. Uh, I don't want fucking rodents in my house or whatever the fuck a ferret is. I, I don't want that in my house. And then he's like, well, I only got like like $78 on me. So would you take it for $78? It's like, are you fucking for real right now? Another guy told me that I'm asking way too much for a trophy truggy. $300 with the charger, two sets of batteries, fucking upgraded struts, all that. It's just way too much money that I, I need to fucking give my head a shake. So that was pretty cool. Like, um, you know, I only paid $600 brand new for the truck and I maybe got 35 minutes of drive time on it so and that was 600 bucks just for the truck on top of that I paid like 50 bucks for the charger 50 bucks for both sets of batteries because they're 10 bucks a piece plus the $10 shipping you know and then the the 60 bucks for the fucking strut kit and the um, the aluminum bracket jobbies that I have no idea what the fuck they do or where they go but I got them you know all these oh dick oh fucking potholes I tell you I hate them but uh all these things like I figured 300 bucks would be a steal of a deal and people are offering me like 100 125 like just fucking lowball it. it's like well shit you know what for that I might as well just keep the cocksucker put the fucking struts on it and go out bashing by myself this summer grab a couple tripods a couple cameras get a couple camera angles do some fucking sick ass jumps don't know where I would go for that but friggin you know there's got to be somewhere out there that I can go and play with my fucking truck like this is ridiculous Unless, you know, there's a... Maybe I should go on some RC forum and post it. Maybe somebody would, would be happy. I don't know. It's one of those things that I kind of regret getting into, but I did, so... No use regretting the past. Just live with your mistakes and move along forward. Oh, shit. Fucking lady in the Ford behind me wasn't paying attention. She was talking with her friend in, in the car and saw that I was braking to uh, come into this parking lot. She just fucking mashed her throttle or her brake there and planted the nose to the pavement. Oh, dick, there's nowhere to park. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm going to fucking stovepipe her right here in the handicap spot. No, it's not a handicap spot. It's just a parking spot. Fuck it. All right. Let's park this pig. Anyway, people, I'm at work. I see Bruce from head offices out, so I'm going to head out there, probably have a couple chatches off the e-dart and call her quits for today. So hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, click the like button. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.